Okay, I want to walk you through the steps to log on to MRIS. MRIS is our main real estate or realtor to realtor communication website. So we're going to go there if we're going to put in information that we're going to communicate out to other real estate agents. We're also going to go there if we're going to search for information that other realtors have put in. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Explorer here. You could use Safari or Firefox as well. And I've gone ahead and I've already typed in the website name. It's M R I S. Dot com. So up here in your search field or your URL bar, type in www.mris.com. And that's going to bring you to this website right here. Top right corner, you're going to see a login uh, icon that you can click. So go ahead and click that. And that will bring you into the MRIS logon page. Over here on the left side, you'll see user ID, PIN, and safe MLS password. You should have our um, password sheet and that will give you the data you need to type in here. So go ahead and refer to that for these codes. Type those in and then go ahead and click login right here on the left. Okay, and you're now logged in. You can tell that because up on the top right corner it says log out. And along this top in this blue bar here, you'll see MRIS website. And if we need to do anything administratively in the site, that would be where we would stay. You're going to spend most of your time very likely in either Matrix or Keystone. Matrix is the section of the site where we go to look for information that other agents have put into the system. Or we go there sometimes to verify that what we've put in is appearing accurately. Keystone is where we go to input our information, input our listings, or it's where we go to edit information that we've put in there, change statuses, edit remarks or directions, correct something that we might have put in incorrectly uh, prior. So you've got your three options here, the website, matrix, and keystone. You're logged into MRIS and you're ready to go.